What up ladies? How's it going? The world is buzzing around on the occasion of International Women's Day. And the Quint received some amazing entries for our Ablaf Nari campaign. In these videos, the women shared some of the ridiculous sanskari stereotypes that make them LOL. Like Priyanka Bhargav tells us that every time she goes to a restaurant, her husband gets the bill while she gets the feedback form. When you go out for dinner with your husband and when you're like seated, I always get the food menu and my husband gets the bar menu. Why? We women can't we drink? And at the end of it, it is even worse. When you finish your dinner and the husband gets to pay the bill and I get a feedback form. Why? Even I can pay my own bill and not just give feedback. So that has been funny. Amid the growing strain between NDA allies, TDP and the BJP, the Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandrababu Naidu announced last night that two of his ministers will step down from the central government. He said that Civil Aviation Minister Ashok Gajapati Raju and MOS for Science and Technology YS Chaudhary will quit their posts as the centre failed to get the special category status for Andhra Pradesh. Overall scenario is definitely it is not good to get divorce, right? We will be very happy for getting marriages done up, but not divorce. So it is not a good uh, move. But unfortunately, because of uh, unavoidable circumstances, we are uh, stepping down as uh, ministers. But still, our president said that we will now, we will continue to be a partner of NDA. Chandrababu Naidu even accused the centre of holding hands with the northeastern states, but not doing the same for Andhra Pradesh. Meanwhile, two BJP ministers from the Andhra Pradesh government also quit from their post. Are you sick and tired about the news of vandalism of statues of known figures across different parts of the country? Well, I'm sorry, but you got another one headed your way. This time, it was Kannur in Kerala and was the statue of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Haiya, in logo ne Mahatma Gandhi ko bhi nahi chhoda. About this hooliganism that is spreading across different parts of the country, the Quint has got a rant for you. Bharat Mata Ki! Tripura se lekar Tamil Nadu aur Uttar Pradesh se lekar Pashchim Bengal tak. Desh mein Mahapurushon ki murtiyan girane ka naya chalan chala hai. सड़क से संसद तक बवाल मचा है त्रिपुरा में बीजेपी की सरकार बनने के बाद बेलोनिया सब डिवीजन में रूसी क्रांति के नायक व्लादिमीर लेनिन की मूर्ति को बाकायदा जेसीबी से गिरा दिया गया उसके बाद तमिलनाडु में द्रविड़ राजनीति के जनक और दलितों के आदर्श माने जाने वाले पेरियार की मूर्ति पर हथौड़ा चला कोलकाता में जनसंघ के संस्थापक श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी की मूर्ति की शामत आई तो पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश के मेरठ में भीमराव अंबेडकर की मूर्ति गिरा दी गई सवाल यह है कि मूर्ति पूजकों का यह देश मूर्ति भंजकों का देश कैसे हो गया यह सिर्फ कोई गुस्सा है या ये सब एक डिजाइन के तहत किया जा रहा है सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेटिसाइड द केरला हाईकोर्ट ऑर्डर एंड रिस्टोर द मैरिज ऑफ हदिया जहान एंड शाफिन जहान द केस इन्वॉल्व हदिया कन्वर्जन टू इस्लाम एंड हर सब्सिक्वेंट मैरिज टू शाफिन It is also referred by some groups as the Love Jihad case. The BCCI announced a bumper salary hike for Indian cricketers, with some players getting as much as a 500% hike. But one name was missing from that list: baseman Mohammad Shami, whose wife Hasin Jahan recently accused him of adultery and domestic violence, did not get a new contract from the BCCI. So first of all, he's going through some personal life turbulences, or uske upar BCCI is holding off on his contract based on the charges of his wife. However, Mohammad Shami has denied all these allegations. देखो ये जितने भी डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस का और ये सब केस के हैं ये बेबुनियाद हैं और इनका कोई मतलब नहीं बनता है सो so, जहाँ तक इसको पूरा जानने की बात है मैं जब तक जान नहीं जाऊँगा इसको कुछ कुछ कह नहीं सकता है मैं इसके बारे में फारूक टखला वन ऑफ दलज परपेट्रेटर्स इन दाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री मुंबई सीरियल ब्लास्ट केस वॉज अरेस्टेड बाई द सी बी आई टूडे एट द डेली एयरपोर्ट ही इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द की एड ऑफ दाऊद इब्राहिम The CBI official said that the 57-year-old Farooq looked after the Dubai operations of the D company 